Hi, it is Marie and I'm back again today with another video. So today I wanted to talk about cerebral palsy and math. Um, I had always heard that there is a speculated correlation between the two, um, have, having cerebral palsy and having trouble with math. Um, I, for one, have always had trouble with math. However, when I look online, all I can find are tes testimonials of people that say, yes, they have cerebral palsy and they have trouble with math, or testimonials of teachers that say they have students with CP who have trouble with math, um, more so than the average person who has difficulty with math. Um, I've also searched through the databases, um, trying to find scientific, academic, uh, scholarly work on the subject, and I just, I can't find any. And I mean, that's understandable. Uh, cerebral palsy affects everyone differently, and that's a whole lot of variables to take into account if you want to do any academic or scientific work on the matter. Um, but having said that, I do have trouble with math, and I wanted to make this video here today to just kind of put my story out there. If you yourself have trouble with math, please feel free to comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Um, however, again, I have to reiterate that this is all purely speculative and more plausible than possible. You know, I can't really find a reason online, scholarly or their other, that says, yes, this might be a reason why people with cerebral palsy have trouble with math. I can't, I can't find that. Um, and so, yeah, but I always had trouble with math. And most, most of the time it was just concepts, you know, I couldn't really understand, you know, multiplication. Six times two is six plus six. And I would go, what? That doesn't make sense to me. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. And it actually took me like three years to be able to understand multiplication. But either fur further on, you know, I feel like when typical people have trouble with math, it's like, yes, they have trouble with math, but after working through it a long time, they they can get it and it'll become automatic with me i just felt like i was always stuck i would have trouble with math and i could never get past step i if i could get past step one i couldn't get past step two i just always felt like i i could do a problem i could do something uh an exercise about 20 times and i would just have to like manually go back over the instructions all the time and I just I couldn't understand it um, and so I had I yeah I had trouble with word problems I had trouble with geometry the only one I really liked was algebra because you could just plug the numbers in but even so that one was tedious as well uh, and so the other thing was that I had a real trouble keeping my uh, paper organized, uh, being that I have trouble with fine motor skills. You know, everything was just kind of messy and not clean, and it did not look nice, and it did not help me in the slightest. Um, but yeah, so yeah, on, on, on another hand, I I still have trouble like telling time on a clock. <laughs> um, that's another concept thing. With, with the hands, I, I have trouble telling time on the clock. And um, people would tell me, oh, it's just the hour hand and the minute hand. And I, I just, I don't know, even today. I mean, I can tell time, but it, it doesn't come quick uh, like it should. Um, I had trouble, you know, again, with con concepts. I'm going off of the whole concept thing, even though this isn't really related to math. I had trouble uh, telling uh, which shoe goes on my right foot and which shoe goes on my left. I still do to this day. People would say, oh, follow the curvature of the shoe. Uh, follow the curvature of the sole and you'll know which one goes on. And I, I just, I couldn't understand it. Uh, so it's those conceptual things that I really, I really have a hard time with. And, and it's frustrating, to say the least. Um, you know, even my trouble with math, uh, with concepts, goes into science. Uh, and so I have a really difficult time in those two subjects. Lucky for me, I got both of those done my freshman year, so I'm left with all these social science classes that I really adore. Uh, but I'm getting off track, and uh, so I think I should leave it there. Comment down below if, if you have trouble with math, if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, opinions, 
and so forth, and I will say goodbye, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.